All right, it's only been like one minute since my last video, so let's see if it's been approved yet in one minute. <laughs> yep, one minute. Can you believe that? You know what? I think it wasn't even one minute. Like, I just literally stopped my video and just hit record again. I didn't even change the page. We're talking, yeah, maybe a minute because we did hit the button a minute ago. So that's fast. So once you get your account spending money, uh, <laughs> I don't even know if they even looked at my ad. That's pretty funny. Anyhow, that ad is running, and you can see right here, Facebook just told me that my ad's running. The next thing I want to do is I want to list another campaign for uh, clicks to a website, and I want to add another ad set with two ads in the ad set. And what I'm going to do is use the power editor. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up this in... Um, in Chrome this is the Chrome web browser and so if I go into the power editor here it will automatically bring it up I don't remember I think the for the very first time you ever come here it may ask you to uh, uh, go and go and download the plugin or something like that I, I don't know I, I can't remember I've, I've had uh, Chrome or power editor in here forever so I probably was like seven years ago I just don't remember <clears throat> but when you first click that button, it might give you some instructions on how to install the plugin. But once it's in your uh, in your Chrome browser, you'll see this. So I just grab my account and download all my data. Sometimes this will take a while. You know, lots of ads and stuff in there. Okay, so I go to the not uploaded, and we're going to go ahead and start creating some posts. So um, some ads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dark post. It's also called an unpublished post. And it simply means I'm creating an ad that looks identical to a post on my page. So like this. Except it doesn't show up on my page. In fact, it doesn't show up in any page. It's just an ad that shows in a network. So you'll see what I mean when, once I do it here. Another thing I want to mention. You remember when we first set up this campaign we added a tracking pixel so I can see if there's any traffic going to our page right now I highly doubt any traffic is going through there right now but let's go take a look I'll log into my bitly here Okay, that's not the one. Sorry, that was the... This is the one here. So, probably just all my own clicks. There was a click, two clicks just now. Um, those two clicks are probably Facebook checking out my page. But that, isn't that cool? I can see right away if there's any traffic coming. I just refresh the page and I'll know right now. Nope, no one's been there yet. So. Once I start seeing that climb, I know they're sending traffic, and I'll be able to tell before they even start showing the stats within my Facebook account. All right, let's get back to the Power Editor, and let's start creating a campaign. So in, the, in this thing here, what you want to do is over here on the right-hand side, make sure you select Manage Ads, and I go to Not Uploaded, select that, and then click on Campaigns right here and then click on create campaign and let's call this campaign drop gear and this could be clicks to website so down here I'm going to select clicks to website and I want an auction type click create now I'm going to click on ad sets and I'm going to create an ad set and the first I I don't know I don't really name my ad sets anything very very good I just put set one <laughs> set one and set two <laughs> that's all I ever do I don't really think about it that much and then over here in the ad budget I go twenty five dollars per day for this one and let's go and create an ad and so within the ad what you do is you want to create ad right here We'll click the create button ad there and I'm gonna call it an ad name I'm just gonna call it ad one you can always change it later on if you want it more descriptive right so 
I just want to get it going. I don't want to think about it too much, so I just put add one for now. And then you could see your ad over here on the right hand side. But what we want to do is make sure you always click this drop when you you select your fan page make sure you you select the right fan page I've actually made this mistake many times where <clears throat> I come in here and I set up a whole dark post and I, I unpublished post and then I realize I post it on the wrong page I know it doesn't actually post on the page but it does you see this little part at the top of your ad right here this part right here this is a link this will show up for the page that you select here so if I put like if I select Boston Bruins by accident and like it looks like Boston Bruins is posting a, a shirt about pilots that's just not gonna work right so I've made that mistake before but that's okay you can create as many unpublished posts as you want so just go back and create a new one right so make sure you you select your right page and the drop your gear was selected and then I'm gonna create my unpublished post <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click I'm gonna select link right here you remember that post that we did on our page right here this one this one was done using a photo and so in the dark in the actual power editor if you select photo that's exactly the same a link post is the same as just posting a link in your page like a status link so the first thing I want to do is put my my link there from my campaign a lot of people don't like putting their naked Teespring link directly into their ads. And uh, you can, if you have a website domain, you can actually just create a redirection script, a redirection page if you want to do that. I've done that <clears throat> until one time my domain name went down. I forgot to pay my, my domain fees and I was paying for all this traffic that was going nowhere. <laughs> so I just put my Teespring links in there. And plus when you're doing like 10 campaigns a day, it's like it's just a pain in the butt so I don't worry about it too much just put that there and then here this is your post text and what I like about the um, the the power editor you can do anything in this little post window like I mean anything you can do crazy stuff like this like big arrows and anything you want in here will get accepted if you use the ad manager tool like we just did in the last the last part where we created the other ad if you use the ad manager and you're adding text within the ad using that, they don't allow you to put like two periods together or or something like that. They won't allow you to do any of that stuff. But in the power editor, you can do whatever you want. That's the beauty. That's one awesome thing about the power editor. So like if you have like a 72 hour discount, a 72 hour special, you can do stuff like this, right? <clears throat> and have it really pop out when someone sees that. I guess I should put 72 hour there. <laughs> 72 hour special something like that and you can put like like that you know and people will just pop right in their face and their mobile phone or whatever you know you can't do that kind of thing inside the ad manager you can only do it within the actual power editor so in here I'm just gonna do the same thing I just did before so I'm just gonna go grab that same text that we did here and do the same thing and another thing is I can actually put my link in there too so I can put a link in here as well as text whereas in the ad manager they don't allow you to do that so I'll do that and a button I don't know if a button really helps or if it does help or not but I'm just gonna leave it uh, shop now that's the only one I really put in there so I'm not gonna put one in for now the link headline I usually put um, I usually, <clears throat> I usually put buy here for only 1950. That's what I usually put there. Let's go see if any traffic's come through. Nope, no traffic yet. Okay, let's go back. Buy here for only 1950. Your display link. I usually put. Um, offer ends soon so I put there and then here I usually put stuff like um, like usually I put the time limit in here um, offer something like sale ends June 3rd 
just something like that. Um, also, more shirt styles available. Click here to see more. So just something like that. Let's go ahead and upload one of those images that we created <clears throat> in a previous video. So the one I want to use is this funny one. I really want to test this one because it's just hilarious. <laughs> Every time I see it, it makes me giggle. Anyhow, so that would be my one ad. That's all I'm going to do for that ad, for that particular um, ad copy. So let's create that post. So now let's dial in the targeting here and add a few other things here. So right here, this is really cool. These are optional tags. Um, before I show you the optional tags, you want to see the ad. This is what it looks like. So you can see why I put buy here for only $19.95, $19.50, because that's the first thing they see and it pops right in their face. That, that's <clears throat> I do that because a lot of people put their cost and everything in the image. And instead of adding more text to your image because you can possibly get it um, turned down because you have too much text in there, just put it right here. Like, look how big that text is. That's good enough. And down on this line, I try not to put too much text. You don't want too much there. Too much text just confuses people, and confused people don't buy. <clears throat> down here, offer ends soon. I just say sale ends June 3rd. You know, more shirt styles available. Click here to see more. If they're going to want to buy it, they're going to want to buy it. The face draws in attention because the eyes are looking at you and they're going to see the, the shirt and the guy's sort of being goofy. It's just really funny. <clears throat> so going back to this here, what I want to do is put an additional URL tag. Now you remember when we posted on our page, I added this little, this little, this little code here, FB equals PP1. This is so I know inside of Google and no, inside of Teespring Analytics, I can see how many sales are coming from this exact link. <clears throat> and it doesn't matter what you make this variable. Like FB, I could have called it donkey if I wanted to. It doesn't matter what you call it. It's just a whatever you want to name it with an equal sign and then some sort of data behind it. So you can do the same thing here for this ad. And I like doing it here instead of actually in the dark post, like when you when you click that here, I don't I don't put it in here. It's better to put it here because Facebook will apply it to all the links that occur in this ad. And they kind of hide it so you don't see it in the link. So it's cool. So here I'm just going to go FB equals, I don't know, A1. And I'll just remember this is ad one. And these analytics will only show up for this only for this shirt within Teespring. So I'll know what this with this actual little variable is going to be applied from. I'll know that I put it here for this ad. Next we have to select our pixel, the one that we just created there. And I like this has a little search in it, so drop. There we go. Let's select that one. And down here I select newsfeed, desktop, and mobile. I'll leave the rest. And I go into audience here, click on this part, audience. And I'm just going to do the same thing we did before. United States, 18 to 64. Demographics, work, job titles. So pilot. Pilot in command. Fighter pilot, first officer, and that'll be it for this one. And then optimization, I'll just do optimize CPM, and I notice they set maximum per action as 30 bucks. That's crazy. So I usually go in here, and I know I'm going to do. I usually only go like five bucks. Like uh, the action for this particular one is going to be a click. I already know that. I'm not sure why it did this action down here. Usually it it just goes five dollars up here, and that's probably good enough, you know, for optimized CPM. Just do that, and this ad is now created. So I'm going to create another ad. 
So I do want to mention I am doing a little overkill here. Usually most Teespringers and myself only spend like 25 bucks and I've already, I'm going to be adding three separate campaigns, um, no sorry, two campaigns, but there's going to be three ad sets. That first campaign we did had an ad set that required $25 per day and then this one has an ad set of $25 per day and I'm going to create a new ad set for another $25 a day. So that's 75 bucks. So I'm just doing this so you can see how to do it. I'm not saying go make three campaigns for every single t-shirt that you do. Just do one. Just one of these. That's all you need to do and then um, you see if it's converting or not within one day. If you don't have at least two or three sales, just can it. Move on and do the next shirt. Don't waste your money. Trust me, you can dump like a... Th I've dumped over $500 to $1,000 one time thinking I can make it win. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Now I've got the money to spend and I'm sure you don't have 500 bucks to dump down the drain on something that just doesn't work. So we've targeted this ad as but as targeted as it's going to get for job titles. There's still more room there and we're going to do it with this ad. So, so let's move on here. So I'm going to select this. So I went to ad set. So you make sure you're in the right campaign and select ad set and I'm going to hit this duplicate button and I'm going to make another ad set in the same existing um, campaign you know they'll automatically just name it that I'll just call it ad set 2 and now what I want to do with this one is you select that and you select ads you'll see there's two ads now there's one for ad set 2 one for ad set 1 so ad set 1 I'm not going to touch it for ad set 2 for this one what I want to do is I want to change the ad I want to make a new image ad from one of the other ones that we created and I'm going to change the interests to the other suggestion that I did where I found a whole bunch of schools for pilots so let's try that So first let's create our post again and I'm just gonna do the same thing I did before so let's go and grab my image first and let's go with the green because that sort of pops out quite a bit I need my link again put that in there Go. Are you a pilot or a pilot in training? Now, I do want to show you something really neat with T Inspector that I integrated in there. It's a pain in the butt to always, when you're listing like 10 ads and you're using the same copy, mostly the same copy, it's a pain. You got to keep typing it out, keep typing it out. Obviously, I can just paste it into a into um, like a, a Word document or something like that. But what you can do is you can save it in T-Inspector using that new data bank feature. Where's T-Inspector? Here it is. So in the data bank, you can actually create a new, a new thing here. So um, let's go back and get it from our fan page. If I can find it. Uh, fan page, where'd you go? There it is. So let's grab this. And I'm just gonna bring it into the software and I'm going to create, um, I'm going to clear this out and down here where the value is, I'm just going to paste that there and I can just put like um, T link here or something like that and I'll give it a name or a label I'll just call it, um, I don't know, FB add post one and then click this little plus and now it's going to save it here so whenever I need it, so I come over to my, I'm, I'm listing an ad right here and I don't feel like typing it all out. I'll just bring up T-Inspector, find the one I want, double click, go over here, right click and paste. That's it. As soon as you double click in the data bank editor thing there, it just paste, it just copies it to your clipboard. And then I'll come here and I'll stick my link again. And maybe I'll try a button this time, shop now. So click here to buy. No, I want to put buy buy here for only nineteen whoops nineteen fifty. And we can also save that too, you know, as a new item as well. So I can just call that that was a link headline, just call it link headline 
one. Save that, so now I always have it. You're probably wondering, why don't I have all my stuff in here? It's because uh, I have my own little software I created that does all that. I have all my stuff in here, you can see. I have Facebook, Teespring, and this I'd never developed out. I just simply took the tool and put it into T-Inspector. So that's why you're not seeing all mine in here. Mine are in that other software, but this is what's, in, what's provided in T-Inspector. And so the display link, offer ends soon. And then the description, sale ends June 3rd. More shirt styles. Maybe we'll try some different copy there. Like, uh, Drew, uh, grab it before this ends forever. Click here now. I don't know. Try something different. Maybe put a couple dots after it. All right. Let's post this one. Now we have another ad. Let's go back and see if there's any traffic from our other one. I like keep checking all the time. No, nothing yet. And so for this ad, I'm going to change this to add my little uh, optional URL tag thing. I'm going to change it to two. And what I do want to do is come over here and change the audience. So. I'm going to change the audience by removing the titles and I'm going to focus on interests and more specifically actually what was the one we did actually the one we did was we uh, we focused on school so we went education and then schools then I entered in a whole bunch of different schools and I actually saved it on a notepad here so I'm going to I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to start entering all of these in there. So watch that other video to see where I got these interests from. Um, it was in a previous module when we designed that shirt. And I'm just going to stick them in here and add them one at a time. <clears throat> okay, I've added them all and I added 54,000 people this time. So you got to realize that a lot of people that go on the Facebook don't actually enter in their job titles. So if they don't enter in their job titles, then they might not be in that other group. So I could be missing a huge audience potential here. So I'd like to target all the schools and see if um, we can get some sales through this one. And you you also um, notice that I, I did create I did create a completely separate ad set for this ad. That's simply because I want to use up 25 bucks for that whole ad itself where I could have easily just put this ad in the, into the original ad set if I wanted to. So that I had two ads within one ad set and 25 bucks would go towards both of those. That's another way of doing it. In fact, that's actually a sort of a smarter way of doing it so you don't lose a lot of money. But I like doing it this way because I just want to see which one is really going to work and I like to spend 25 bucks on them. So that's why I do it. So I do work when I do uh, Facebook ads, I tend to spend more than the average Teespringer because I got more money to deal with, but you don't you don't have to do it that way. You can put your ads in one ad set and then see which one is going to convert better if you get one or two sales from which which ad and which interests. So that's this one here and I'm going to stick with the same targeting as I did before. Um, I do want to check my there's no traffic coming through right now it might be because it's a little bit late at night but usually what happens is I like listing ads later at night around 7 in the evening um, I'm in Pacific time because Facebook will eat up your whole 25 bucks before midnight so they, they spread out your your 25 bucks to the whole day now if you wanna spend money really quick with Facebook and you wanna know the results ASAP it's really simple just don't run an auction just just send set your time limit for the end of your your ad to end in three hours and Facebook they're greedy they'll take your money if you, if you say you want your ad to end in three hours they'll take your 25 bucks they're happy to take it so that's what I do sometime when I'm impatient or otherwise I just list it late at night I like listing it late at night because when I wake up in the morning I can see if there's anything working and just it's kinda nice that way but that's up to you so I think I got it 
I got everything I needed here for this particular campaign and I was focusing on people that go to flight schools or been to flight schools and of course I could I could have like I, I guess I did address that in here or pilot in training right so I could address that a little bit more are you in school are you a student you know what I mean but I just wanted to show you how to list this ad and how to duplicate it now another ad that I actually could do is one that utilizes um, interests and behaviors so maybe I'll list a third ad to do that as well so what I'll do is I'll take I'll take this ad, the one we just created, and go to Ad Sets again. And let's go ahead and clone that again one more time. And we'll call it Ad Set 3. And I'll just go 25 bucks. So now I'm going to be running 100 bucks. <laughs> Obviously, don't do this, but I just want to show you all the different, um, different options you can do with creating ads. So let's go back to the ad. <clears throat> number three, ad set three, and with this one, I'm going to remove all of the schools and I'm going to focus on interests on this one. And then what I'll do is I can actually create a new ad and use our other ad, but I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to send traffic to the same one here. So let's go ahead and do interests. So pilot aircraft and you got five and a half million that's way too much so now let's dig down deeper into that five and a half million by looking into the behaviors and see what we can find so what we want to do so once we got five and a half million you go into behaviors and just click on browse and here's some of the things I like working with so in digital activities you can um, actually don't you see these online spenders here um, a lot of people get confused here, so I, I want to explain this. It says digital activities, and you can see online spenders right here. Well, notice the description. People who have used Facebook credits and payments platform. Well, Teespring doesn't use Facebook credits, so this doesn't even apply to what we're doing. So don't use those. I've, I've, I've tried it, and I made the mistake, and I suffered greatly, and it didn't work. So um, don't work it. Don't use it. <laughs> so I don't even use digital activities. But you can come down here and you can look at um, purchase behavior. And then purchase behavior, you can go um, uh, purchase habits. And then in here, you can do online buyers. So if I hit online buyers, that drops it down from five point whatever million down to 360,000. So now we're, we're dialing in because Facebook is telling us these are the people that have spent money or are used to buy money online at these they spend stuff so that's who you want to be concentrating your ads on so that's a that's a good one to try now if you start adding more and more here what happens is it just adds more to the list and doesn't dial it in so usually I only select maybe one or two things here for a given ad and then I try something else but let me show you a few other things you can try in here so I'll deselect that you can have purchase types and you can actually dial in like um, men's apparel there's 30,000 people that like these people like aircraft and they have bought apparel stuff and you can also add women's apparel here too and that just boosted from 30,000 to 1.2 million so obviously uh, women buy clothes more than men <laughs> anyhow that's a couple that I use quite a bit there um, sports and outdoors obviously if you have a sports some sort of sports, sports shirt that works well purchase types we were just in there not purchase types just purchase a profile or something in here where is it oh yeah buyer profile some really good ones in here as well um, these have been identified as people that are shoppers spa enthusiast sportsman that's a good one for doing sports shirts which I use all the time so obviously clothing for men's all kinds of stuff in there I don't use those off often see if I missed anything else that I usually use but anyways I'm gonna go to purchase or oh, purchase habits you know yeah, that's what we looked at already 
I can do online buyers and then we can do above average spending and now one other thing we can do to narrow that down it's still pretty high but we can still narrow it down a little bit more and go back to demographics here and go to uh, work uh, sorry financial and income and then start selecting all of them so 40 to 50 this one this one this one and this one and what this is telling me that the people in that group have money basically they have a job they got money Obviously, if they're a pilot, they're probably doing okay. <laughs> but you never know. I've heard of starving pilots too. So I think that ad is pretty dialed in. You know, we've, we've narrowed it down to people that have money. They're interested in aircraft pilot. They're above average spenders, online buyers. And so we probably encapsulated a lot within that market. Um, some of these actually don't apply to Canada. So I'm going to pull this out. and just leave it as US. Sometimes these are only applied to Canadian or to US um, targets. So, all right, so that's everything I want to do for this particular ad as well. So now we have the optimization set the same. So everything is good to go. I want to add this as three. And the last thing I'm going to do is my ads all say add one. I do want to see the difference. So the first one here, I'm going to say what was this? This one, we the audience was uh, where was the audience here? Seemed to have disappeared. That's really weird. Hmm, that was weird. I just kept clicking and it eventually showed up. Okay. So this one was job title. So let's just name that one. Add one job titles. This one was the schools. Schools. And then this one was interests. So now we're all good to go and simply go to, I, I'll click on campaign and select the full campaign. Remember we got three ad sets, each of them set at 25 bucks a day. That's pretty high. Hopefully this works out, but oh well. I just want to show you guys all the different ways to list it. So I'm going to select this campaign and the last thing we got to do is just click this magical green button and it will upload all the campaigns to my account and most likely be approved within a few minutes. So now we can actually go back to our uh, ads manager and we can see all of our campaigns there. Ah, it looks like they sent us some traffic. We spent... So this is the campaign we just created in the uh, Power Editor and this one here is the one I we created the first one they sent uh, n nothing <laughs> didn't get any po post engagements or anything yet all right so if we take a look oh we got we got 10 we got five clicks let's go over to our page and refresh here we got three likes no sales yet but I don't expect to get a lot of sales. It's just, uh, I just really wanted to use this as a real example and if it works out, it works out. But anyhow, that's basically it. I just showed you how to create four ads within two campaigns in, we had, we all had, each ad was in their separate own ad set. So you can see all the ad sets here for this particular one. And so this campaign is all website clicks and the other one was post page engagements and we can actually monitor those post page engagements right here on our fan page. Let's refresh and we can see if anyone's talking about it and nothing yet. And so what I want to do over here is show you one more thing. In the power editor when you click on your ads, so when you go to 
I have two active campaigns so if I go post engagement that's the one we created and I go ads you can see all your ads here uh, two, two of them they're already active um, let me see here let's do this one right here there it is okay uh, nope that's the one okay this is the three ads we just did and so what I want to do is show you something here um, when you set the when you create your ad after you upload them and they're all good to go what you can do is you can see these links right here this is really handy to get to the exact post of this ad because each one of these ads is a post. It's a dark post, yes, but they still have comments. And you want to monitor those comments and respond to people that ask questions. Like, you know, how much is a shirt? How can I get a girl's shirt? When are they going to be delivered? All those things. you got to answer those questions. Those are potential customers. So what you do is in here, I'll click on this link here, View as Post. It takes you directly to the post page, and you can monitor this page for comments. So a good thing to do is you save these links. So just open up a text file somewhere and save these links and then make sure you monitor all those ads. So I want to go to the next one, click on here, get this one as well. So I'm just control V, control C on my keyboard to copy and paste and do the last one here. And now, so I'll keep those handy and then I'll just check them every like once a day or whatever to make sure that nobody is uh, doing anything silly there's been times when I've done it uh, like a sports shirt and someone's like don't buy from Teespring Teespring sucks there they never deliver blah 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 and all of a sudden you notice you have zero sales for the day and you're wondering what's going on all it takes is one idiot coming in there and doing that just because they got somehow their their mail got caught up somewhere and they didn't receive the shirt which wasn't Teespring's fault in the first place and I suffer for that <laughs> so make sure you go in and check your comments and you can easily just delete comments that come through here so I'm gonna go through here and just post the links again get it here in the comments I always like doing that show some activity going like the page let's go to the other ones as well so that one that one that one that's the one there. All right, so we got some a little bit of activity going. If you have extra um, spare like Facebook accounts, sometimes I'll log in and I'll uh, I'll actually log in a different user and come in here and get some activity going a little bit. So that bump, it sort of bumps it up and gets it going a little quicker within the Facebook ad system. And they start sending the traffic a little bit faster. So, all right. So I think that's it for this video. Basically showed you how to list an ad, four different four different ads for the same campaign. And obviously, I don't recommend doing all of them for one campaign. I just want to show you everything in this one example.